announced a $2 million grant for Surfing Australia to build a new purpose-built high-performance facility. So, very exciting announcement and probably the biggest investment the federal government have ever put into our sport. What it will mean is, is our continued domination of world surfing. Um, you know, we've really been winning a lot of world titles over the recent years, but we've got to stay ahead of the pack and a lot of the other countries have started to implement a lot of our coaching strategies and a lot of our high performance training. So this facility is going to really set the, the benchmark and, and hopefully we'll continue to win on the, the world stage. This is a huge announcement that a Gillard government will partner with Surfing Australia to make sure that we secure this country's future as a powerhouse of surfing on the international stage. I mean, it's not just about uh, elite level athletes. Uh, we have an education vision and it's you know, coaching and judging development. And it's also reaching down into the board riding clubs and even, even just the recreational surfer. I attended an elite surfers academy or a facility back in 1988 and uh, it was a lot more archaic than the facility that you're seeing here. But by having this injection into funds we're going to make this a real world class high performance centre that's deeply going to benefit the junior talent and the professional surfers coming through the ranks in Australia. It makes such a difference. Um, you know, even with myself training, it, you try and combine as much as you can your surfing stuff on the land and vice versa and, and you know, it's going to be great that they can do it here and, and do it with everybody. It's just come so much more professional now in every way, shape or form, you know. We didn't used to train um, when I got on tour, you know, I started training a little bit but before that, um, you know, you know, the guys, it just used to be just such a, you know, different kind of sport. It was taken different and um, now with all the big money in there just with the individual sponsors and now that the government's come in you know it's just a great uh, good great program to have on the Gold Coast. These days people that succeed on the surfing circuit um, are out there they are getting fit they're being active and they're setting a really positive example um, at a time when we're trying to tackle obesity rates when we're trying to um, tackle preventable diseases, we want to be encouraging people to get up off the couch or step away from the computer every now and then and if that means that people are out there enjoying the great outdoors, out enjoying our beautiful oceans and on their surfboards, that's a very good thing for our community and our health system. The real beneficiaries of this will be the future. You know those 9, 10, 11, 12 year old kids that are out there ripping through the, um, all the scholastic programs and all the Surfing Australia programs uh, around the country through the different states today will really truly be the beneficiaries of this and it will really you know, put Australia in, in such a wonderful place.